Well, a major study suggests that the rate at which the coronavirus is spreading in England may be slowing down. That's after the last few weeks of rapid growth. Our medical editor, Fergus Walsh, has been taking a look at the numbers. This is a huge enterprise. Every month, 150,000 people from every corner in England are chosen at random to receive a home coronavirus swab kit. It enables researchers to get an accurate picture of the amount of infection in the community, including among those with no symptoms. The last samples were collected this weekend, and interim results show the virus has been spreading fast. The survey estimates that one in every 200 people in England is currently infected with coronavirus. That's four times the level of just a month ago. Prevalence is highest among the 18 to 24-year-olds, among whom one in 100 is thought to be infected. But it's rising across all ages, with a sevenfold increase among the over 65s, the group most at risk from the virus. Since a low point in early August, cases of COVID-19 have been rising throughout England and going up fastest in the northwest and northeast. But those analysing the data have found something less gloomy. The speed of growth seems to be slowing down. You can think about an epidemic curve as being a hill, and we've been growing up a really steep section of the hill. The little bit of good news in the results we've found today is that maybe it's not quite as steep, but that's really not enough. We need to be going down the hill, and we really need to get to the bottom of the hill like we were in the summer. As for R, the virus reproduction number. That's still above one, which means the epidemic is growing. This is a COVID test. Could you please place it in the box? But the study team think it's not as high as it was, meaning the rise in cases is more gradual. The study published today shows us hope that together we can crack this. And the more people follow the rules and reduce their social contact, the quicker we can get Liverpool and the North East back on their feet. The challenge will be to motivate people to socially distance throughout the winter, the season when respiratory viruses spread more easily, and to do it while keeping schools open and the economy afloat. Fergus Walsh, BBC News. I'm joined now by our health editor, Hugh Pym. So millions of people will be under some sort of local lockdown by the weekend. There are plans afoot to, to make it simpler, the sort of almost a traffic light um, system, so we understand it better. Yes, Sophie. Plans have been circulating for England in Whitehall for a couple of weeks now. We understand they're complete. They could be rolled out in the next couple of weeks, though not finally signed off. The idea is to end this system where you can have confusion with one local council with one set of restrictions and another not far away with something completely different. So the thought is you go to a regional system for England and then take a tiered approach based on risk. So the bottom tier, tier one, as it would be called, uh, would be based on national restrictions as they are now, like the rule of six, with nothing extra on top of that. If it's higher risk, not based on the number of infections, but the rate at which they are accelerating, tier two, you'd have a ban on mixing households in indoor venues, homes and pubs, sort of thing we've seen in the northeast and announced for Liverpool. And the highest risk would be tier three. Now, if a region is in that tier, there'd be a widespread lockdown. It would see everything but schools and essential shops basically closed. It doesn't appear at the moment, though, there's a region which would fall into that category. And it's all about targeting localised outbreaks, isn't it? Yes, Chris Whitty, the UK government's chief medical advisor, said yesterday it was very different now from what it was in March. These are localised, particularly in the northeast and the northwest of England. That's why you'd have this approach with different types of restrictions in different regions. It hasn't been completely finalised, and one thing's certain, new national restrictions haven't been ruled out. Shoot him. Thank you.